Hi, Hiram here. Some time ago I did a video on these Weber lighter cubes that I showed how I store them and did a long-term test with them covered in wax and stuff. Uh, they work pretty good that way, but I've had a number of people tell me that they can just leave them out just the way they are. They come in a tray like this. Sorry about the glare there. Just a plastic tray, but once you take the aluminum foil off, it's all exposed. There's no individual packaging or anything like that, so they tend to dry out. But like I said, I had a number of people tell me that they put them out and had no problems at all with them. So what I did at the time was I set four of them out on a tray, put it up on a shelf, and just let it go to see what happens. So I thought I'd try it out today. I tried one earlier. Well, I'll get to that. I tried one earlier and it didn't light. Let me try another one here. Now they're they're really, really light. <laughs> it feels like a little piece of styrofoam. But let me see what will happen with this. Yeah. See, it just it burns the surface, but it doesn't light. Now, this is old stuff that worked, but I put it out for about a month now, and it's all dried out. So this stuff really needs to be protected. Earlier, I did my first piece, and it did the same thing. It just kind of, you know, burned like that, but it didn't light. So I took that one, and I covered it in wax. You can see the burn mark there, I think. All I did with it, what I do with these, you've seen them in my older video. I melt wax on one of those coffee cup warmers. It works really nice, even better, I think, than the double boiler. You just put some wax in a can, set it on the cup warmer, melts the wax, and then you got it there to play with. So all I do, can you hear that? It's, it even sounds like styrofoam. I just stick a toothpick in it, dip it in. Now, it, it doesn't work as good right now because the temperature in here is 82 degrees. In the winter, this would, side, would uh, solidify up real fast. But you just have to keep dunking it in. I think it takes about 10 dunks, and you get a nice coating on it. In the winter, again, like I said, it would uh, solidify a whole lot faster. Now, what I want to see here today is, and then all I do, once I've dunked them and keep dunking them, I just stick it into a block of styrofoam, like so, and let them solidify and cool off. Let me put this aside. What I'm going to do today is the one that I coated earlier. Let's see what it does. I can get the toothpick out. There we go. It's got a nice coating on it like what I normally do. Again, this one didn't light. Uh, this might not work. On the old ones, the wax would kind of go into the uh, Weber cube. This one, you, you definitely see a difference between the Weber cube and the wax. On the old ones, the wax would kind of travel into the cube. So I don't know if this is going to work. I think once these things are dried, they're pretty much useless, but let's see. The wax is melting. No. I had just wondered if... No, it's just not going to light. So that was after only maybe a, about a month of setting up on the shelf unprotected and then they become worthless. Your results may vary, but in this garage with the heat and everything, all of the whatever was in there for fuel just kind of boiled away, just kind of evaporated away. So I think, I still think that coating them in wax while they're good is a really good way because they stay I think that last test was what almost two years long or something it was really long and they still burned this I think if they're dead they're dead so for those of you that keep saying these things don't need protection 
I don't know, I beg to differ. But I thank you for your input. I look forward to your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. I thank you for watching, I should say first. I'm just trying to think here. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.